Marysville Roundtable, a discussion on current events, sports, and entertainment. Hello and welcome to Marysville Roundtable. Today we will be discussing some topics with our Scout Troop 16 and discussing some events coming up here in town. Joining me today are members Wyatt Clark, Barrett Ressler, and Mrs. Laff. Welcome to M6 Studios. Thank you. So for starters, how long have you been a part of the Scout Troop? Like how have you gotten started and how has that helped you? Well, um, I started in October of 2020 during the pandemic. Uh, I was kind of forced by the Scoutmaster at that time. He uh, was a member of my church and we just got to talking about joining the Scout program and I finally got to it. So, I've been a member for as long as I can remember in Marysville Scouting. Uh, I've been involved uh, in Troop 216 since uh, late 2016 and uh, it's been a wild ride. Uh, very fun, a lot of experience with Scouting. And I joined Troop 216 last year. My son came up from Cub Scout Pack 246 and I joined as a committee member. Well, that's great to have you guys here. So how is, how is, would you say it has helped you as an individual? Like, like any like life social skills that you have learned from being in Scout 216? Oh, absolutely. Uh, apart from your basic survival skills, such as building a fire, tying knots and whatnot, you also learn uh, valuable social skills, such as uh, being more confident in public, being able to present yourself as a uh, well-prepared person. Public speaking is a big thing in the scout program and that's what we help build our boys on is this idea of being able to speak publicly because not all of our kids are comfortable with that. This helps build it, build it up. Mm -hmm. But I also hear that you have a new scout planting program. Uh, would you care, anybody care to explain it? Mrs. Lapp? Um, we have started a community service based fundraiser and citizens in Marysville can purchase um, a flag to be posted in their yard on Memorial Day, Flag Day, the 4th of July, and Labor Day. It's $40 for the entire year. Um, and so we have pretty much met our goal already of 60 flags. That's exciting. And um, we can take up to 100. Yep. When, nice. we, when so. we first uh, approached this idea, to the city council, because mm -hmm. we had to go through the formality of presenting the idea. They were already behind it, but we should still approach them with it. Several of the city council members asked us to collect their money at the bench. So we had about, I don't know, maybe 60 to $80 dollars that night mm -hmm. when we collected money from the city council members. Wow. So. so if anybody wants to get started with this program, who would they have to contact in order to be able to start up with it? Um, they can contact myself. I've posted the information on the Marysville Facebook page several times, or um, you know, they can email me or call me. All right. Uh, so where did this idea start? Like, who had created this idea? We actually saw this idea from another troop down in another state. I can't remember which one it was. But we saw this idea and it saw that it generated enough revenue for them to buy new gear and take different trips um, and have extra to just spend on the little things. So if we, if we thought that if someone else could do it, why can't we? Why can't we have that idea? <clears throat> they, were, they looked successful. Why can't we be successful with it? Mm -hmm. I take it you have the same ideas as well mm -hmm. as that? Yeah, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know. For a lot of stuff in scouting, uh, community-based projects is a very important uh, point that we take care of. We always have helped out with uh, community fundraisers, up the Salvation Army every uh, kind of Christmas and season with their food collection, and uh, it's a great thing for us to see as a community and help out with. That food collecting makes us the most well-known in this, in this <laughs> area. So knowing that summer is coming up in a very short time, uh, what events do you have that's going to be taking place? We have a couple events for our scouts, actually. Um, coming up this summer, we have two trips planned. Uh, one of them is our summer camp uh, to Pioneer Scout Reservation in Ohio. That We look forward to that every year. It's a great way to scout for scouts to branch out, meet new people, and also earn and collect life skills that can help them off in the future. 
Uh, another trip that some, some of our scouts are looking forward to, some of our older ones, is their Mackinac trip. And what that Mackinac trip does, they go and work with the park rangers for a week up at the fort. They are tour guides, they man the garrison and all that, and they're part of the Mackinac Island Honor Troop. Wow. Is there anything else to add as well? Um, along with going to summer camp, we also have our high adventure trip planned for this summer. The boys will be hiking at Pictured Rocks in the UP for an entire week in June. So that's very exciting, and I know our older boys are really looking forward to that. Well, per go ahead. Personally, I've been on uh, the same high adventure trek, and it was amazing. Uh, five days up north, uh, mm -hmm. just yourself to take care of. Uh, it's amazing. Especially to go see pictured rocks. I mm -hmm. bet that's going to be beautiful. you got to train a lot, though. you got to yeah. <laughs> walk. <laughs> boys, are, boys are already starting to train carrying packs full for five mile hikes I at a bet. time. Mm -hmm. So within like the scouts, you have like leadership positions. Like mm -hmm. how would you be able to gain those leadership positions? Well, it's essentially on work ethic. Uh, how much are you willing to put in? How much are you willing to, I wouldn't say give up, but how much are you willing to sacrifice so that everybody else, not just you, can move forward? Uh, we run we have, like to think that we are a democracy. Uh, we run elections. Like myself, my leadership position, I'm an elected member. Uh, anybody can run for it. You just have to put in the work and the time that's necessary for that position. And what's your le leadership position? Uh, I'm junior assistant scoutmaster. That's kind of uh, after time and experience one you would gain. It's not elected. Uh, mm -hmm. So pretty much I'm just there as another kind of adult leader in training. I help out with that kind of stuff uh, at meetings, uh, camp outs. I'm just there as another uh, kind of adult leadership figure to help our scouts. And how about you? Uh, I mean, any member, can, any adult can become a member of our troop. Um, we always encourage parents to join and join the committee. Always know what's going on and helping to make a lot of decisions. and. Um, it's been really nice to work with the boys. I'm a first grade teacher, so working with uh, middle school to high school kids is not something I normally get to do, and it um, certainly has been a lot of fun. I bet it is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So on your little outfits that you have, I see all the badges that you guys have included. Would you like, would you care to tell us about some of them or like some of your favorites? Absolutely. Well, some of these badges are just um, for recognition purposes. It kind of describes who we are, what we do. Like if I can turn this way, uh, this one here, this kind of oval one, it represents our field service council. And that's just kind of like where we are organized. We're organized within a certain part of the state. This one is our troop number. And the little 90 above here, it's, we're celebrating, our troop's almost 100. Ooh. It's going to be turning 100 in this decade. So, and then this patch right here, it signifies your leadership position in the troop. So, Barrett? Mm -hmm. Right here, I have a Philmont Arrowhead patch. Uh, it's from Philmont Scout Ranch. I personally went last year to Philmont, uh, did a 75 mile trek, uh, climbed a couple mountains, got to see the American West. It was uh, an incredible trip. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's in New Mexico, so that's mm -hmm. a pretty exciting trip. It's pretty far away, and yep. you get to experience mm -hmm. a lot of elevation changes and weather. And 14 <laughs> days. Ooh. Cold, hot. Everything. I see that all three of you have some purple pins. Like, what, what's, what's that one about? This, this purple patch represents the World Scouting Emblem. We're, it's not just the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, there are scouts all over the world in every country. And this patch represents that we are unified under that one thing, that one thing that, makes, that brings us all together. And it's not just boys. It's, it's girls as well. Well, that's very symbolic and actually really nice. Um, so how does the scout troop sort of gain support from the community? Like how do you guys like be able to get to do stuff? Well, we present ourselves in, we present what we want to do in a way that it shows, hey, this is a really good idea. On top of that, we're all in school. We're all still in school. Mm -hmm. We talk to each other. We have friends that talk to other friends and it just kind of branches out and our ideas and what we want to do, they spread throughout the community. They just kind of trickle down. Mm -hmm. Scouts participate in their community. That's a that's a hundred percent one of the major reasons why scouting is so supported in Marysville. It's what we strive to do. We strive to our one of our mottos. Our, our slogan is "Do a good turn daily." We strive to be that shining light in the community so that people can go, "Hey, 
we know that person. They're a Boy Scout. This is what they do. Well, that is actually really, really nice. So I know you guys have like the Cub Scouts. Is there any other like different levels of Scouts at all? Well, there's different organizations within scouting itself. Like you said, there was the Cub Scouts, that transitions to the Boy Scouts. But there's also two other ones that I'm aware of. They're called Venturers mm -hmm. and they're called the Sea Scouts of America. They're branches of Boy Scouts that they just do different activities that um, kind of mold to there. Like the Sea Scouts of America, that's more Navy based. Mm -hmm. Venturers is for more older Scouts that can still want to continue on with their scouting career. Yes, so Scouts BSA ages out at age 18. Um, so as soon as a boy turn or girl turns 18, you're, you know, you're eligible to become an adult member of our troop. But if you wanted to carry on beyond that, that's where um, venturing and things like that come in handy for people who maybe are in college and want to continue on their scouting journey. Well, that's great. So if anybody is thinking about joining, what advice would you give out to them? Contact Troop 216. We have an open door policy. We'll accept anyone, uh, any boy under the age, in between the ages of 11 and 18, mm -hmm. we'll you, accept you. If you're under the age of 11, you can join the Cub Scout program. The Cub Scout program will age up to the uh, Boy Scout program. And find if you know somebody in the community that is a Boy Scout, talk to them. We're all in school, and we can help you through it. We've taken people to meetings multiple times. Nobody gets turned away. So now that we've learned some other ways that we're able to contact you, is there any other ways that we'd be able to get in contact and be able to join? If anyone is interested in joining, they are able to email our Scoutmaster. Um, the email is listed below here, so always a great way to get in contact with us. We also have a Facebook page, Marysville Troop 216, um, where people can send us a message. All right, thank you guys so much for coming in. It was a blessing to have you in here today. I'm Chase Thillman with M6, your hometown station. Marysville Roundtable, a discussion on current events, sports, and entertainment.